And there are really three different paths by which people obtain these peptides. The first is by prescription from a board certified medical doctor. So some peptides have been approved for one use, but they can be prescribed also for off-label use. And here we're talking about FDA approved clinically tested peptides, but in many cases they've been clinically tested for one particular area of medicine. So for instance, the peptide Sermorelin, which promotes the release of growth hormone has been FDA approved for the treatment of short stature, but it is often now prescribed for other things as well, where a physician and their patient agree that augmenting the growth hormone pathway would be useful. Now, regardless of the specific use in mind, it's absolutely clear that the safest and best situation, if one is going to use therapeutic peptides, is to use prescription therapeutic peptides where the prescription comes from a board certified physician. And the reason for that is several fold. First of all, sometimes these peptides come from pharma companies, other times they are made by a compounding pharmacy. But in both situations, they are cleaned of what's called lipopolysaccharide or LPS. Most peptides are injected either subcutaneously or into the muscle, although some can be taken orally or even a topical cream. We'll talk a little bit about different modes of delivery a little bit later. In any case, getting the LPS out and making sure that the peptide is pure is very important. The reason is that LPS causes an immune response. And while a tiny amount of LPS might not cause a massive immune response, the accumulation of many, many LPS exposures can start to become problematic that one would get from a prescription from a board certified physician. But very often they haven't cleaned out the lipopolysaccharide. They haven't removed the LPS and that can start to create problems over time. And of course, in the case of black market sources, especially oftentimes the peptides are not what they claim to be on the label or from a particular source. So that's especially problematic. So I want to be very clear about my stance on this. If you are going to explore peptide therapeutics, I highly, highly recommend, indeed I implore you to do so with a board certified physician and to acquire peptides through a reliable source where the LPS has been removed, which typically means from a pharma company or from a compounding pharmacy.